there's five biblical reasons why women supposedly can't be a woman priest, okay? And they always state that they are emphatically biblical in nature, where biblical research has proven that it's cultural prejudice. Mm. That might be all right back in the dark ages, the middle ages, but I mean, seriously, we're in 2022, and our hierarchy has not said, look at, we're sorry, but you know, these aren't biblical. These were cultural uh, in nature. And that goes back also, they were the ones that started the law system. If you have laws, civic laws by Rome that are very demeaning to women, and then in that same culture, you have these Catholic theologians living, they basically shaped that law into church law. Well, let's face it, the woman had 10 strikes against them. And that's why, again, if you go way back into the early history of the church, this one canon lawyer, uh, he basically, women were at fault for everything, for men straying. They were she wolves, they were night owls, they were sows, they were bitches, every derogatory thing that you could call them, they were that. Women were looked upon as sinful. Women were looked upon as unclean. Now, what do I mean? At that time of month. And they were just abhorrent that Jesus had to come through his mother's birth canal, had to come through that blood, that that was so repulsive. But what that meant was that was a strike against women. How could we have a woman up there on the altar? If she's in this condition. So that was like a reason, in a sense, to prevent women from being on the altar. They were sinful. They were unclean. Then, if you move ahead, in 1976, the Pope has his own commission. It's called the Pontifical Biblical Commission. And they were looking right into that issue of women being priests. And this commission definitively found there's absolutely no reason, a biblical reason, why women can't be priests. Okay, hello, that was 1976. So my question is, why has there been no movement? Control? 